Hey hey friends, I'm Chef Wainena here. I love making whole fish baked in the oven. It's delicious, it comes out very crispy, and it's definitely much healthier. Today I'm sharing a very simple recipe with some vegetables just from my pantry, some sweet potatoes, some carrots. We're going to put everything into the oven and we are going to come out with a very delicious fish. Let's go ahead and start prepping for this. So friends, for this recipe, I have two pieces of whole fish here. Actually, one is bigger, the other one is smaller. All I need to do with this first and foremost is to remove the pins. Just remove this. Go along the back and cut this with kitchen shears. So I bought this fish already gutted, so it's nice and clean inside. The gills have been removed. Cut this, and then I'll take the smaller one and do the same thing. So once the fins have been cut, I will remove the fish onto the cutting board. And then using a paper towel, just pat it completely dry on all sides, the inside of the fish. So we are preheating our oven at 425 degrees. That will be very good uh, for crisping the fish. With our fish dry, I'm going to make like three slashes on both sides, going all the way through. This will help the fish to creep and also bake through. Turn it and do the same thing. Do the same to the other smaller fish. This recipe also works very well with bass, branzino, snapper. It happened that all I got from my supermarket were these tilapia. So I will briefly set this fish aside. So we are going to stuff the cavity of the fish with some of these lemons, some garlic and some scallions. And just need one scallion for this purpose. And just maybe one sprig of cilantro. I'll set the rest aside for other uses and then break the garlic. Get some two cloves of garlic also. All I need to do is just roughly chop this garlic. Pull it aside. I'm going to use this lemon that I found in my fridge. Cut it to some half moons. Take this cilantro just the way it is. And then rough cut these scallions. So leave those aside. I'm going to start heating this sheet pan in the oven. So now I bring back the fish. So first season with some salt on all sides into these cuts some freshly ground black pepper. Do the same on the other fish. So now take these lemons, stuff them in, the garlic, the cilantro, and the scallions. They go into the cavity of the fish, just like so. This will perfume the fish from inside and just keep it nice and moist. So a bigger fish here. Cilantro, scallions, lemons, garlic. Stuff them inside. Just like so. If you want at this point you can tie this with butcher's twine. I really don't need to do that. So just drizzle this with some vegetable oil. So our sheet pan is searing hot. All I need to do is just to lay this fish carefully, like so, and you're going to get that quick sear right away. And then without wasting time, back into the oven and bake those for about 15 minutes. So friends, as our fish bakes in the oven, I have some two medium carrots here, three sweet potatoes, a large red onion, a jalapeno, and a red bell pepper. 
So peel all these vegetables and then dice these carrots into nice bite size. This will form the basis of our vegetable. This goes into the bowl. Peel the three sweet potatoes. You can definitely use potatoes instead of the sweet potatoes, but I find them be much more healthier and they taste better for me. Once the sweet potatoes are all peeled, just cut it into quarters, long way, and then just dice them into bite size or whichever shape that you like to do. These sweet potatoes, they go into the bowl. Next, I'm going to peel this onion. Then just cut it into nice size. Just like so. Break it into the bowl. I have one red bell pepper. Always take out this sticker. Just roughly cut it. No particular way. Same thing into the bowl. I have one green jalapeno here, just cut it. If you don't prefer heat, you can skip this. Or if you want more heat, you can use the green chili, the hot chili. All I need now is some few garlic cloves. Just peel. Just roughly chop this and then go into the bowl with our other vegetables. So next I have some cherry tomatoes here which are multicolor. They are very beautiful, it's summer here. So you get these beautiful tomatoes. We are actually going to use them whole, just them add into the bowl as they are. Just a few of them. This will cook and melt into the vegetables to, to make them nice and moist. So this is the rest of the stuff that are remained after we stuffed the fish. We are going to mix them here all together. We need some black pepper, a good amount. We need some salt. At this point, if you want, you can add any spices of your choice. And then some vegetable oil, a good amount. Say like two tablespoons. Toast, toast this. They will go into the oven with the fish. This will take about just 15 minutes. So now to complement our dish, we are going to make a little sauce here or a vinaigrette. Take some of this cilantro. Just roughly chop this. Put into this blender bowl. Take these greens of a scallion. So guys, if you are liking this video already, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. Some of these scallion greens goes in. Get some zest from this lemon. You can use lime also. Cut the lemon in half. Squeeze some of this juice. into our little bowl here. Your good olive oil. We are basically making a basic vinaigrette here. Some salt, some black pepper. Buzz this a few times. You get this green sauce. Give it a test. Now, all we need is to wait for our fish and the vegetables to cook through. Wow, look at that. Our fish has been baking for about 40 minutes total. The vegetables are all cooked through with a nice char. The fish nice and crispy. Listen to that. The skin is very crispy. 
just garnish a touch of cilantro our sauce just drizzle and this can go on the table just as is just like so serve the rest of the sauce on the side now if you want to serve this dish individually all you need to do is just take a plate grab some of these vegetables put them at the bottom of the plate just enough for one person this is a dish actually you can make with several fish so i'll drizzle some of this sauce on the vegetables this moistens them restaurant style food in your own kitchen then lift a fish on top and there you go garnish garnish some cilantro if you want some of this drizzled sauce and there you have it so friends there you have it Just very crispy fish get some of these vegetables and the sauce it's vinegary mm. so friends there you have it our whole fish baked in the oven comes out very crispy baked at very high temperature for about 40 minutes total together with the vegetables it's a dish that you can do any day of the week and you and your family will definitely enjoy remember you can use any kind of fish that's available to you same thing with the vegetables you can substitute whatever you find in your local supermarket in your market or whatever you have in your pantry will definitely work thank you so much for watching this one i look forward to seeing you in the next one i'll sit down and finish my dinner